Lancaster, California. 70 miles north of Los Angeles is home to Casa Roma, the oldest restaurant in the city. How's your pizza, guys? In spite of having absolutely no restaurant experience, Nyla and her son Jeremy bought this failing landmark restaurant with the hope of turning it around. Two and a half years ago, I was in real estate, and I was sitting around looking at business opportunities, and I found Casa Roma. I talked my oldest son into getting in with me, and had we had known the restaurant business very well, we probably wouldn't have done it. We gotta get this place turned soon. Me and my mom thought we were buying a restaurant with a bar attached to it. You guys wanna sit in the dining room, or are you gonna go to the bar? Okay. But really, it just was a bar with a restaurant attached to it. <laughs> my bar does all my business. It's like two different countries. Our bar is always packed, and the restaurant sits empty. In food on a good night, I'm making 175. On a slow night, I'm making $9. I just you want to hear your money. fucking drama. That's bullshit, and you know it. We've had almost 20 chefs over the last two and a half years, but I've had Drew for a year and Eric for almost six months. Eric's a huge reason why Casa Roma isn't doing well. Not one table! Not one table's had their food yet. He lacks getting the food out a timely fashion. And his food is very bland. It's dry. <laughs> I, don't, I lost my appetite. I'm gonna need five chicken breasts. I'm good at this. I'm good at it. Do I make it look fancy? Do I, can I put pine trees and stuff in it? That's not what I do. I make the food taste good, it's presentable, and it's like, shit, that's pretty damn good. Eric and I do not get along in the kitchen because he doesn't produce very well, and he expects me to do everything. I need every fucking one of my pants right now. We totally are in dire need of Chef Ramsey's help because there's something that's got to be turned around about this place because it definitely is a nightmare. If I closed down, I don't know what I would do. I raised four boys and uh, ran, ran a home my whole life. Five years ago, I got a divorce. And then I bought this place two and a half years ago, and it kind of took up the, the time. I don't care about getting rich from here. I just, it would be nice to pay my bills, you know, and have some, some extra money at the end of the month. Casa Roma, since 1958. This restaurant's nearly 50 years old, and by looking at the sign, it shows. Dying to find out what it looks like inside. Hi. How are you? Oh, hi. And nice to see you well. Nice to meet you. And this is Nyla. I'm Nyla. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. This is my son, Jeremy. Jeremy, how are you, buddy? Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Now, this is uh, very cozy. No windows anywhere? No, not the no, bar part. Bar. No. We have a restaurant part over there. Dining okay. room's over there. In terms of business, I mean, the bar's obviously busy. Our um, bar's always busy. Bar's always busy. Always yes. busy. Nice. It's our restaurant we can't get going mm -hmm. to save our lives. What restaurant were you working in before you got here? I wasn't. He wasn't. I work in the grocery store, and he works carpet cleaning. Grocery store and carpet cleaning. I know. <laughs> yeah. Is that blood down there? What is that? No. No? Don't Just shoot. dirt. Oh, just dirt. Dirt. And just out of interest, with no previous restaurant experience anywhere, why would you open a restaurant if you've never worked in one? Because we're insane. So, um, I think it's about time I had a little taste. Okay. Yeah? Sounds good. So, where's the dining room? Right through, right here. through here. Right through there. Jesus, that carpet's disgusting. I was so excited whenever Chef Ramsay walked in the door. It was like, wow, I can't even believe he's here. I thought, well, here we go. He's going to see the nightmare I'm really living. Ugh. Jesus. Crusty bits of lime, lemon, and bits of tissue on my table. Mm. Hello. Hello. How, how are you? you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm uh, Ashley. Ashley, nice to see you, darling. So I'm nice not, to meet you. I'll just give you those. They're, yeah, they were absolutely. on the table and little bits of, I think, lime back from 1958. Oh, nice. Just down the side of the back of my oh. uh, chair. Sorry, darling. Excuse okay. me. Excellent. You see, it's, I feel like a, I mean, I, I know I'm not exactly the smallest, <laughs> but I, f I feel like I'm just going to go through. Is that normal like that? No, it's not. No, no it's what not. I mean, I'll, I'll fix it in a minute. Um, Casa Roma, fine Italian dining. Dining. Oh. Or is that just an Italian spelling? <laughs> no? Weird. Anyway, um, I'll start off with the stuffed mushrooms, please. The stuffed mushrooms? The Monte Cristo. I'll go for that as well. Monte Cristo? Yeah, I'm hungry, as you can see. And finally, I'm dying to taste a pizza. A Casa Roma Deluxe. What size would you like? Uh, yeah, let's go for medium. Medium? Yeah. Thank you, my darling. 
You already got it? Leave this damn fucking thing open. Okay, I got a big order. People say, well, he's a five-star Michelin chef. Okay, so he's got four tires and a spare. Kiss my ass. That means nothing to me. The shit on the blinds there is disgusting. Oh, my God. Why are you hiding there? You're trying to see? Have they brought any food to you? Uh, yes, I found some limes and lemons dehydrated down the side of my uh, chair and bits of uh, tissue left on the uh, table. Do you have a cleaner in here? Yes, we do. Christ almighty. Is she blind? Um, probably. Hey, you're not doing nothing right now? I'm cleaning up their stuff before give me, they... Give me a glass of ice water, please. Uh, white ice water? Yeah. Nyla, can I have an ice water, please? Way to go. Two. She's standing right there. Oh, my God. It's um, zero for zero, 15 minutes in, nothing. I'm starving. We got some appetizers coming, right? What? Appetizers coming. It's cooking. Fucking thing. That's what snapped. Damn. We got to get rid of all these dirty dishes. Our choke heart is killing too. me. Spend more time cleaning up after his ass with the fucking makeshift. That's better. A proper seat. Just turn that one. Turn it's it. done. No, it's not. Turn it. Why is the kitchen so slow? If somebody wants me, I'm out back. We're past the half hour mark now, so hey, things are looking uh, ooh la la. Nope. Hey, what about appetizers? They're all cooking. Hey, you want to start on those pizzas Just then? Relax, take a chill. I might as well keep fit and do something, can not I? No. Go for a jog. Got a marathon coming up. Nothing wrong with working off for lunch when you get it. Do you have anything on that last order ready? What's that? Any anything on that last order ready or close? No, we're putting everything up at one time. We're just right. waiting for the sandwich or the pizza. You if want? You got one thing close. You want to start late? If yeah, if you got one thing close, lay it out. Okay. Well, the fuck you want to do that, but okay. We got the appetizers. Oh, jeez. Okay, great. Yeah, Ooh, I was nodding off then. Huh? I was nodding off. I'm so I know, sorry. I saw that. Thank you, Madonna. And that's stuff with crab. Right. Lovely. Okay. Thank you, Madonna. You're welcome. Wow. Fried mushrooms. Jesus. Soggy. Tasteless. There's not even crab or any form of flavor or texture or anything in there, but what worries me more than anything, they're just full of water. What is it? How is everything? Um, yeah, pretty vile. Um, are they frozen, the mushrooms? Um, they should be making them fresh. Really? Yes. <laughs> Fucker didn't work. I told you. The um, stuff, mushroom that you got, because you could definitely tell because the TV taste that it was frozen. And he didn't like those at all either. Deluxe pizza. What is that thing? What's that sandwich? That's an ugly sandwich. Yeah, no shit. I'm not worried about him. Let's see what he's got. If he wants to bitch and moan, that's his drama. Okay. Here's it. A deluxe, uh -huh. and then here's your Monte Crisco. Thank you. Is that powdered sugar? Yes. On the sandwich? Yes. With fries? Yes. Is that popular? No. Jesus. It's actually dripping. Fat. Ew. When Chef Ramsay squeezed the Monte Crisco and all that oil came out, that really disgusted me. That was very disgusting. Pizza. Maybe the best is for last. Jesus. Unfortunately, the dough's raw, so thick. It's like wallpaper paste, raw. Oh, my God. 
And that's why, clearly, there's nobody in the restaurant. Because the only people that can eat this kind of shit are the ones in the bar. Drunk. After a long wait in an empty restaurant for some horrible food, Gordon gathers the staff. So you're the sous chef, and you're the head chef. Yep. To discuss the nightmare that is Casa Roma. Lunch. Absolutely embarrassing. The fried sandwich. Uh, what planet are you on when you put that shit together? Casa Roma celebrates its 50th year this year. Yeah, I mean, what a fucking embarrassment. Eric, you knew I was coming for lunch today. I didn't know when you're, whose you were. I said, which one is this? They come, they wouldn't tell me. Ashley. You never asked which one. And it shouldn't matter if it was him or her it doesn't or whoever. Matter. I came here today, yeah, to taste your best, like any chef would do when they go into each other's restaurants, yeah? I'm not here to fucking catch you off guard, so cut the limp dick excuses and give me some fucking respect for the restaurant alone. It was a bad fucking day, pal. Now you're bad pushing day. it. Enough. I get it. We understand. A bad day? Yeah, shit happens. You never had a bad day. I do have bad days all the time. I'm actually having one today. Just relax, take a chill pill, reload, and do it again. What the big problem is with you, Eric, you've accepted it. In your opinion only. What? What part of that don't you freaking understand? What do you mean, freaking understand? Yeah, what part of that don't you understand? In your opinion only. I haven't accepted it. Yeah, and I fuck up stuff. Yeah, I fuck up. So I try and reload and redo it. There's nothing edible. Out of the way. Why are you walking away, Eric? Uh, so I don't fucking rip your head off. Appalled by the food, Chef Ramsay's little chat with head chef Eric didn't exactly go over well. Lunch. Absolutely embarrassing. What planet are you on when you put that shit together? Why are you walking away, Eric? So I don't fucking rip your head off. I was in awe when Eric talked to Chef Ramsay like that. He's coming here to help us out. Don't be rude to him. You got two minutes? Two minutes? I've got a week. I'm not going to give you no excuses at all, all right? Long days. Haven't been feeling 100%, but I'm here anyway. You do what you got to do. You work, try to get these people better. Let me reload and see what we can do again. OK. I think we got a fucking caught flat-footed, but I get to reload one time. I won't get caught flat-footed again. Bet your ass on that. Yeah. Sicilian right. Is that what we're writing? Yep. C-E-C. S-A-N. Sicilian what? That's right. That isn't even how you spell Sicilian. Does anybody know how to spell it? Or it might be Sicilian. Sicilian's from Sicily. Okay, really? Because S-I-C-I-L-Y, I don't think there'd be a Y. No, it's I-L-I-N. Sicilian. There we go. Thank God you guys saw that. Uh, do you work here, or are you just bypassing? Come round so we can say hello. This is Jimmy. Jimmy. And what do you do? Um, I'm the son of the owners. And so what do you do? A little bit of everything. Uh -huh. Just try and help out. So what's, what's that in there? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice? Mm -hmm. Nice. A little vodka. Vodka and cranberry yes. juice? Yes, yes. I see you drink and work at the same time. No, I don't work. Oh, you're not working? No, I don't, Sorry, no, no. Work. Okay, no, right. no, no, no. So what do you do then, outside of here? What's your job? What's your oh, career? I do construction. construction. Operate heavy machinery. OK, so no one's got any cooking or restaurant experience? No, no. Ah. Not at all. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, guys, how you doing? Put your chair here, and I'll put you one on the end. I'm going to have the chicken parmesan. He's going to have the chicken nuggets and fries. OK, I got calamari to start, and then kids' chicken nuggets and with fries. Excuse me? Do you have any questions about the work? Here's spaghetti alfredo, so scampi. Chicken parm, made it, I'm gonna OK. Eric, you want me to saute, man? Do you want me to saute? Eric and I do not get along in the kitchen because we don't really communicate very well. Do you prefer working on your own? Mm, just sometimes, yeah. I can tell. Why is that? She's not saying anything, just... Just doing what I got to do. Yeah. Oh, dear. Steph Mushrooms, you're welcome. Okay, you dig in. <laughs> Is it cooked? <laughs> you think? You're no. <laughs> you send that back. This sausage is not done. Eric, this sausage isn't done. 
I ain't got time for this. It looks like it's frozen. I'm sorry about that, guys. Working here is life for us. It's what pays our bills. And to know that the cook is keeping us from making money, it's hard on us. What was wrong with the calamari? Uh, what happened to the calamari that just came back? They said that it tastes like it was frozen. Oh, is this normal? Yes. Well, you know, what can you do? Drew, I need one, two, three, four, five chicken breasts, Drew. Eric doesn't ever really push to get it done. He just keeps telling me, oh, it's OK, I got it. Everything's going to be fine. But it's not. Did you get the lasagna, Drew, or no? Damn it, am I the only one that fucking works here? It's an hour into dinner service, and several appetizers are getting sent back to the kitchen. It's good. Yeah, definitely cool. go back. And only one table has received its entrees. Okay. This is probably the worst shrimp scampi that I've ever had in my entire life. Let me take it back to the chef and explain it to him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. OK, guys, listen. Worst shrimp scampi they ever had. And they say it, no flavor at all. Well, you know, what can you do? Give me some water, Jimmy. When food comes back like that, the shrimps, you never taste it? Well, you know, what can you do? I've never seen two cooks so far apart from each other up until now. I get frustrated, but try not to get angry at people. You know, everybody says I'm a motherfucker anyway. So why should I perpetuate the problem that's not necessary? But you need help. If you don't get help, we're going to be in the shit in the next 10, 15 minutes, no? Is it really 8.30 already? It's true. Yeah. We're here for two hours, and then we're going to Or is this normal? This is fucking normal. This is incredible. Right through those doors has to be, for me, one of the worst restaurants I've ever seen in my entire cooking career. The chef doesn't give a fuck. The owner's completely clueless, and not any form of communication between the kitchen, the restaurant, and the management. It's a fucking shambles. What are we waiting on now, Ashley? I'm still waiting on chicken piccata with penne marinara, an individual kids' pepperoni pizza, half order spaghetti with meat sauce, eggplant parmesan with angel and meat, chicken piccata, angel with marinara, three chicken parms, and a veal parmesan for just one table. I felt like crying because it was that embarrassing for me. Eric. Yes, sir. Yeah, can I have your undivided attention? Sure. Nothing's happening. We serve one table of four, one table of two. For the last three tickets, half the order's gone out. Half is still on the board. You haven't got a clue what's going on. You're running around crazy. What chance have we got serving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables? You asked for one more cracker at lunchtime. Let me go, big boy. Let me go. I want to do it again. We're spinning around and serving shit. Do me a favor. Close the fucking restaurant. I can't stand any longer and watch that embarrassment. going to be serving any more dinners tonight. I need the door fucking closed. Forget it. All right. We're done for the night. This is a joke, guys. You're pissed off. You're frustrated. Forget it. Good night. What restaurant stops their business and tells everybody that they have to leave? There's no excuse. At a point in the service when more food was being returned than sent out... I need the door fucking closed. Gordon shut down the restaurant. As of now, we're not going to be serving any more dinners tonight. And confronted the chefs about the problems in the kitchen. This is a joke, guys. You're pissed off. You're frustrated. Forget it. Good night. It's now time for the cold, hard facts with owner Nyla. I don't even know where to start with a chef that can't even cook something basic. Why are you employing a chef that is that incompetent? Darling, he's not in the slightest bit interested in fucking making it work. He doesn't give a fuck about his cooking. doesn't give a fuck about you. And he's here for one thing and one thing only. Hey, money. Jack. And the only restaurant that fucking guy will ever get a job is in a restaurant that doesn't have any customers. And if you've got any chance of surviving here, get rid of him. What are you scared of? Talk Nothing. to me. There's well, got to be something. Where am I going to? Well, I need to find another chef. So, Drew, what's wrong with Drew? Drew? I think can carry it off. So get rid of it. OK. Go. Fuck me. I'm fucking believable. Hey. hey. I'm sorry. I know. But no, you no, don't no, know. No, 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 no. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Jeremy, come I here. Feel bad. 
I feel real bad. The whole thing is this. This isn't the first time you've let us down. I don't know. I just you're... can't do it. I know, but I can't do it. Eric, I gotta make you guys get your paycheck every week. Jeremy and I never take a dime out we of here. Understand that. What I know, but I mean, the whole thing's just not gonna work because you Okay, you, so what do you wanna I mean, do? I we're gonna part ways. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Damn it. I got fucked on that deal. You couldn't pull off lunch. Couldn't pull off dinner, and so we just had to let him go. I can't, you know, I can't do this. With head chef Eric gone, Gordon is hoping sous chef Drew can rise to the occasion. That was a tough one tonight. Oh, very much. Yeah, yeah, very tough. Don't get down in the dumps. Tonight was shit. Very much. Clearly, at its best. But you don't need me telling you that, because that was embarrassing. Very much. Yeah? Is that how you run it? Hell no. Good. Tomorrow, we go again. Thank you. Thank you. I need you. All right. Yes? Thank you. Good night. Good night. I'm glad Eric's not in our kitchen anymore, because maybe it'll give me an opportunity to step up and do something. OK. That was embarrassing. Not only a bad morning, but a bad evening. For every plate we put out there this evening, we were losing what little reputation we had left to salvage this place. What chance would we have of getting all those tickets out? There was no chance. To put it bluntly, that chef. Possibly the worst chef in America today. The quicker you put a man like that out of his misery, it's the biggest favor you've done for him and the restaurant. OK, tomorrow's a new day. I've got Drew. That's what I've got left to work with. What's his strengths? Uh, I would say pizzas, calzones. Um, his lasagna is awesome. Right. Drew is the only saving grace I've got there. I've got to work with him tomorrow. I've got to be by his side tomorrow and start from scratch, OK? Good night. Thank you. I think Drew will step up, and I think if he gets some confidence behind him, I think he can do it. The last 24 hours was one of the toughest days ever spent in a restaurant. Last night, we did get rid of the chef, which was a positive move. Now I need Drew to step up to the mark, Jeremy to support his mother more. I got here early this morning, so I'm going to check out the place properly with no interference. Jesus. Christ almighty, where do you start in a place like this? Roast beef. Dating back when? Now, what is that there? Just me defrosting. Again, no sign of what it is. Fresh Palmer ham is caked in mold. This is outrageous. Look at it. It sticks to your fucking hand. It's that rancid. Whoa, fucking hell. That's just over three months old. Jesus Christ almighty. Oh, God. <laughs> After witnessing one of the worst kitchen walk-ins he has ever seen, Gordon moves on to an area outside the kitchen that restaurants are judged upon, the bathroom. One of the best ways to check the hygiene of any restaurant is always through his bathrooms. Turn that on and turn the lights off. Right. This could be quite scary. Oh, my good God. Green and yellow identifies bodily fluids. Any form of bleach or any form of cleaning will be identified through the colour blue, but the bodily fluids on here is extraordinary. Look, as high as the ceiling. Oh, my God. Even the ceiling's caked in it. Oh, my God. This is shocking. Wash your hands. Yeah. Honestly, I've seen enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. Disappointed by the state of the restaurant, Gordon is concerned about the family's commitment to its own restaurant. Right. Got in early this morning, second new day, and I'm somewhat... Not just confused, but disappointed, yeah? Come with me, let me show you something. Hey, 
How old is that? Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, come on, guys. How old is this? Oh, hold it and smell it. Touch it. Sticky. Ugh. Let's come outside. The walk-in is just rubbish, really. It looks like shit. It's horrible. It's old. Probably about as old as Eric. This is the killer for me. Pass it round. It's three months old. And then, look, only in California. What in the fuck is that? It made me sick. I hated to see it. We talk about cleaning out the refrigerator, making sure things are clean all the time. And to my surprise, they aren't. Nyla, the state of that fridge in there confirms whoever's running this place in terms of kitchen management has given up. They don't give a fuck about you, and they don't give a fuck about standards. I went into the bathrooms, and that's where it got worse. I need two minutes with you. Uh, you start taking that out, yeah? Um, hey, get a bin and get every ounce of dirt out of there. Having a dirty refrigeration unit is one thing. Having a filthy bathroom is something that fucking scares the hell out of me. This thing here detects body fluids. Just have a look at this. That's body fluids up there? That there has got nothing to do with any form of cleaning. Look at the fucking state of this. Green, 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 green. But here's where it gets really scary. How the hell is it up there? It looks like some of you may have peed on the ceiling, the walls, the doors, you know. Could be throw up. I can't even imagine, you know. I mean, it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch the door and I'm coming out myself. Bring your son in. Yeah, I'm not going in there. My god. This is body fluids. Body fluids on the ceiling. Uh-huh. People are peeing. Up on the ceiling. Well, pretty good maybe. at that. As Nyla shows her sons the bathrooms, Gordon's inspection continues at the kitchen prep area. What in the fuck is going on here? It just shows that there's no bleach. You know, these walls probably haven't been washed. Oh, your horse. What in the fuck are they? Look at that there. Holy shit. Jimmy, come here. People pissing on the ceiling. What? What is that? It's supposed to be his meatballs. Good God. Have a look. Those are from Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl yes. Sunday. What is that? That looks like raviolis. What? Soaking in water. Ugh. I need to start stepping up, taking the reins, taking control, and doing what I need to do. My big worry is this is not difficult to spot. You could spend 10 minutes after every night's service behind the bar, walking through the kitchen, and turning this place upside down. And you don't need to be a fucking rocket scientist to understand that this place is in desperate need of support. Before I go any further, I want the fucking place clean up. Fuck me. After a full day of cleaning, Gordon realizes that if there is any chance of relaunching this restaurant, he has to turn his attention to Chef Drew. Drew, right now, I want you and I to go and cook some pizzas. And I'd like Jeremy, Nyla, to taste them. I've got a little trick on my sleeve. This is a secret between you and I. OK, I want to find out if they can actually tell the difference between a frozen pizza to something freshly made. That goes in, OK? Array of ingredients, fresh, yeah, vibrant, exciting. Let your imagination go wild and create, yeah, the ultimate pizza. OK, yeah. let's go. Who's the chef of this place? I guess I am now. That's right, eh? While Drew creates his own signature thick crust pizza, Gordon is preparing a special thin crust pizza that will be on Casa Roma's new menu. Lovely. Working with Chef Ramsay was, like, one of the best things ever. Like, oh, my god, I just worked with a world-class chef. Frozen pizza. And yours? Right, ready? Huh? Nice. OK. So two nice pizzas. I'm going to be looking for a verdict from both of you. I like this one. Mm hmm Good. Same. Jeremy, big Same. one as well. Yeah. I'm so glad you chose that one there, yeah? Because this one here was frozen, 
cheap shit. I was shocked when Chef Ramsay told me the one pizza was frozen because I thought it tasted a lot like our pizza we had. <laughs> the good news is both you know your pizzas. Now let me get you my pizza. So this is a thin crust. I like this too. These two mm -hmm. are the type of pizzas that should be on your menus. We are going to relaunch this restaurant and we are going to shout from the rooftops how good these pizzas are. I'm happy. Well done. Very nice. In order to transform Casa Roma, Gordon and his team needed a full day to turn this broken down Italian restaurant into a contemporary pizzeria. Nice to see you guys. How are we feeling? Uh, nervous. 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 Now, just have a look at the new decor at the outside of the new Casa Roma. Take off your blindfold. Nice. Wow. Nice new oh, colors. Yeah. The concrete jungle is gone, yes? The Italian flag. We've got the most amazing size, Casa Roma Pizzeria. But look at the windows. It felt like we were in prison before. Now it's more inviting. I yes? love it. Are we ready to see the new interior? Let's go. Come through. Come through, come through, come through. Come through. I was shocked beyond shocked. It looks like a bright new pizzeria. That's the crazy. We've got a thing nice new seen. bright pizzeria. Carpets have gone. The booths have gone. Chairs relined, new colors. And the restaurant's being painted from top to bottom. God, look at the floor, and I love it. No more hideous rugs, no more carpets to clean. Just nice. Come through. Look. Oh, God. Look at these new chairs. The bar has been sanded and stained twice throughout the night. And now we have a theme coming through. We were trying to be fine dining, and then we had the bar, and it was like two different countries. Now it's all blended together, and we're one big pizzeria, and everybody can come and have fun now. This place needs to celebrate its 50th year with a comeback. We are going to hold the first annual Casa Roma Pizza Eating Challenge. Yeah, thank you. Hey. I love this. You happy? Yeah. yeah. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> In recent years, the community's perception of Casa Roma is as a bar with an inferior Italian restaurant attached. Gordon knows this restaurant now has to reintroduce itself as the new happening pizzeria in town. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to the first ever Casa Roma Pizza Eating Challenge. Excellent. It was great to see that many people supporting us today and actually getting out and being part of the relaunch. OK. Contestants, are we hungry? Yes. 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 Are we are ready? We yes. yes. Five minutes. On your marks. Eat. Let's go. Come on, guys. Take some water. It goes down a lot easier. I can't do it. Come on, Jimmy. Can't eat that much. Jeremy is substituting for Jimmy. <laughs> We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Congratulations to Andre! The pizza eating contest was definitely a fun way of spreading the word that Casa Roma has changed, there's a new look to it, and there's a new menu. Give it up, please. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Four hours prior to relaunch, Gordon goes over the new dishes. This is doable. Uncomplicated, nothing frozen, and freshly home-baked pizzas. Wow. Chicken wings, served with a cherry pepper sauce. Stuffed mushrooms, bit of a house speciality. Bruschetta, simple. Look at it, it's a lot more condensed, yeah? It's cooked to order, it's fresh. OK, good, get familiar with the food, have a little taste. The menu is easier, it's lighter. It's more sufficient. It's, it should be great. How good, huh? That's crazy. Tonight, honestly, for me, is one of the most important nights in 50 years. We've got to make a mark. Yes? Yes. Absolutely. Tonight's the night. Tonight is definitely the night. God bless Casa Roma. Let's go, yes? How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you. Drew! Yeah, first order on, most important. Let's go. 
I want to shine for Chef Ramsay today, and it would be silly not to because I have the best opportunity ever that I've ever had in my life to actually show that I can handle it. So we got our setups for the mushrooms, yep. wings, and garlic knot. So we're ready. Good. Hi, guys. How you doing? Are we ready to order? For relaunch dinner, Drew has Nyla's son, Jimmy, assisting with calzones and pizzas. Put the dough on and stretch it all the way out till it's even with that. Jimmy had to be back here to be solid and pick up the pace a little bit. And he's never done that before. Try not to make love to it, and you'll make it happen, OK? We're working on the calzones right now, please. The wings. You're welcome. I'll be right back with the other two. Not your cup. It's under cup. Those aren't cooked. So get get her back here. The whole evening started, and everybody was in a rush, and all of a sudden, food was going out cold. Drew, they complained that these chickens are bloody in the center. They're not even hot. Quick refund. Oh, man, I was rather embarrassed when the chicken came back. I was like, oh, come on. Not. Nah, we're not starting like this, you know? I got to relax and not try to rush things that take time. That is the second time she's brought that back, and that is not her gun. It's her raw. Again? Yeah, they're, they're raw. Okay. It was extremely embarrassing. Chef Ramsay was completely disgusted, as well was I. Fuck me. Same fucking table. There's a second fucking bowl. Look at me. They've got to go in the pan and in the oven. Not even hot in the center. What's going on? Not good enough. Come on. Once is a fucking joke. Twice is just disgusting. No rush. I know. On the I'm week. just trying to tell everybody. You know. That. Just keep working. I don't know what the hell that thing is. Jimmy, this is your first attempt at a calzone ever, and it's the worst one I've ever seen, but it's cooked. It was just the size of the fucking thing. Is that for two? It's a large. The calzone was huge. You could probably feed about five people with it. Jimmy. Yes. The calzones, yeah, are huge, yeah? Yeah, be careful of the size. Oh, look at all the cheese. <laughs> I thought I had a large. <laughs> you should have just got one of those and you'd feed the station. But I think this it's is huge. Cut down the size of the calzone. Right? Yeah. That can fill an entire football end zone. Look at the size of it, yeah? I want them coming back for more, yeah? Your other ones are better. Jesus Christ. I need some form of quality to control, guys, yeah? It's like a loaf of fucking bread in there. Most important thing here is fucking standard. You slow down and pay attention to detail, yeah? Has this pizza been started no, yet? it just got up there in the you window. Want, you want to go ahead and take that order and start looking at it? It's coming because he fucked up and he had to make another one. It's a calzone. He's getting beat yeah. up over here. Take a deep breath. Stop pushing me and just chill. OK. You're making me hurry shit up. I can't okay. have anything to fucking do with. Go for it. Fuck. This is unbelievable. Drew now is starting to feel the pressure, and it's showing. Cracks are appearing. He's fighting with the owners, fighting with the chefs, and he's not careful. This place is going to start sinking. What a way to celebrate 50 years. Hold on, Jan. Do not take that. With orders in the kitchen backed up. Just don't tell me change. OK, sorry. Customers have a lot of time on their hands. we got to pull it together. We're like this rag right here right now, you know? we got to pull it together. OK, I need a large deluxe calzone and a small deluxe calzone. The mushroom calzone's fire. I got the calzone up. The calzone's in, right? Yes, yes. OK, thank you. In a dramatic turnaround, head chef Drew has finally taken Gordon's advice by taking complete control of the kitchen. This is your mushroom calzone. And orders are moving out to the customers promptly. Drew is doing a great job. He stepped up to the plate. I'm real proud of him. This one goes to the bar right here. Thank you. So nice to actually see food coming out fast. It's pretty good, huh? I think the new menu is a huge success because it's just easier. <laughs> Bye, guys. Yes. It was so good. Right? Yes, I know, and we're taking it home. Is that it, guys? I pulled it off. Thank God for Ramsey. <laughs> OK, good. Well done. After a most impressive turnaround, Gordon has some final words for the staff. I know I put a fork and a spoon on the wall, yeah? But you didn't have to make the fucking calzone to match it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. What was that, for a ten top? Yeah. Cut them down. We're here to make money, not give it away. Yeah. Good. Now you've tasted it, make it work. We will. Oh, yeah. We're going to keep you know, each other you? motivated on this. Considering we have a new menu, new chef, new look. If we couldn't make this restaurant work, we'd definitely be idiots. Trust me, if everyone does their bit, three months down the line, this place is going to be rocking. My heart's here. He saw that. He saw that it's a dream of mine.
I just want to, I want to make it live. What a week. When I first arrived, that had to be the worst ever Italian restaurant going. Then we made some drastic changes, promoted the chef, reinvigorated the owners, and turned this place into a really nice, classy pizzeria. Only hope now, Lancaster embraces it. But one thing's for sure, that has to be the biggest fucking calzone I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy mackerel. <laughs>